Hello, this is our morning commute, and there's something stuck in front of us. That's just one of the problems today. And also, if I'm really lucky, we're gonna get box side into a station, into a train, into the border, and make money off of that. Wouldn't that be super cool? Yes, yes it would be, and I can't wait for that. And there are a lot of small things that we have to optimize today, which have to do with pretty much everything that transports anything. Call it lucky or unlucky, but me just seeing this in the intro actually gave me some clues on what's going wrong. There, there are more things that give me clues, but uh, this is one of them. That bus not being repaired is actually kind of weird because this bus is going tr uh, straight to the repair station over here all the time. Now, um, I have not apparently told these guys to fill up the, uh, the warehouse with anything, which is uh, silly. And there seems to be a small problem with steel not being delivered here at all. I should probably remove the aluminum. I know it's some money that I, I'm losing, but um, we, aluminum is just for airplanes. You really don't need it. So how about, ow, ow, money, ow. Okay, <laughs> just did it. Rip, rip that band-aid off. Okay, we need to get a bunch of stuff delivered here. And by a bunch of stuff, I literally mean a bunch of stuff. And we are currently running slow because there's nothing that we can do to really speed this up. I gotta check this. Ooh, this is bad. This is very bad because eventually the, these are still open and they're still doing something. Um, I'm glad I clicked on that, but they're not. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. So I actually need to do something. We have these guys sitting over here, which are not ideal at any rate of the imagination, but they're not terrible either. You can actually do something with these. What should we do? And I'm going to leave a pause because I'm not 100% what I want to do. Um, I could use these as storage for this. They do hold 350 tons each, unless they change that again, which is not wouldn't be surprising to me, but um, there you go. 350 tons each. This one can hold 450. That is also interesting. We could add this one or we can add this with a large cargo station right behind it. We do have a little bit of room uh, to get some rail in here if we really want to... Um, if we need to transport it out, so that's not the end of the world. But we also have a lot of space up here, which we need to do something with. And I'm considering actually just putting it here because it's closer and it's more isolated to um, where this is parked. So how about we do that? Um, we, we may get rid of all of these uh, intermediate storages, but for right now I need to do something. So let's plan a quick dumping ground for ash. And we're just gonna start, how many do I want? I want one, really don't know how many I want, um, but the thing with ashes, I heard that it decomposes um, relatively quickly. I'm gonna start on this side because it's it's the more direct route. I heard that it decomposes relatively quickly, um, but what I don't know is if ash in this setup with 50% ash and 20% something else is decomposing that fast or is disappearing that fast. So. Um, I just gotta be careful a little bit. Let's get our construction office assigned to that and see what happens. Cool. Next thing. What do we have assigned here? Um, well, this thing is actually a problem. <laughs> I, I found that out the hard way with some testing. Um, if you have this, then eventually, and I think that is one of the problems of these buses potentially. Let's see. Nope, allow for repair. You're good. Yes, less than a year has passed since the last repair. However, this truck, uh, sorry, this bus most likely has terrible, uh, terrible setting. I can't even see what it is, but it's terrible because nothing gets repaired. Everyone gets released before they're ready. So we got to turn that off because we actually need to repair the trucks. Otherwise, eventually they will just all have 100% problems and nothing else is going to happen. This is actually pretty nice. The truck that is dropping off stuff here also automatically drops off stuff here. I will probably have to change that because I think the percentages are a little more messed up that way. Um, but it's it's a thing that I will have to, well, it's part of the optimization that we have to. Yes, absolutely. Let's see, who's delivering what here? You don't have a flatbed, so you're not delivering steel. Don't care. Explosive steel. You do have a flatbed, but looks like you're not currently getting steel uh, from the customs house, that's fine. Where's our repair station? Here, you're supposed to deliver steel, but I don't see a place where you're actually picking up steel from. 
Now, one of the problems I have is the custom cells. I don't. I, I think I mentioned that once or twice before. Um, we have steel here. How about you just pick up steel from that location? Load just steel. Uh, storage percentage does not really matter. I just want you to bring steel to the repair station so that I can actually repair something. That that will be that will be very novel. Um, I think once we are done with this short, with this quick, um, well, setup, I can concentrate on bauxite. Right now, I don't think that is going to be smart. There's a high chance that we're not going to get bauxite done today. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I would like um, an opportunity to uh, to get it done. So I'm just going to place this here. This is just a in case, in case we need it, in case we want it, in case this becomes... Um, useful i don't know that it will but if it does we have a connection we can build this and this is all this is set up so we can actually do something with it obviously we need to um get a train route in there as well but we can run a train past this over over all these dirt roads and th that's not a big problem so that's good uh speaking of trains this guy i turned it off unwisely last time that's not very clever um, I actually would like rail to get constructed because this is not an insignificant distance to travel. Okay, the other thing that's not insignificant is, well, as usual, there is no <laughs> fuel station on the uh, on the run here. This run is relatively far, so I'm a little worried. We do have a fuel station here, but I'm a little worried that trains may run out of fuel in bad places and then they get confused because they can't just turn around. Um, I should probably address that first, but even bigger, I would like to get this guy. We do have some money in the bank right now. Uh, we are making 120,000, which is great, uh, but we need, to, we need to keep that up. This guy, because I don't want to waste my workers on this, we're just going to sell it. We have to pay for it because it gets scrapped, but right now that's fine because I don't have, I don't have a, um, rail depot. Uh, at this moment and that will just slow me down otherwise so there you go that one gets set up uh, or that, that one gets kicked out and things should move a little better there are several things here that we need to improve but i would really like this guy to get done like yesterday so let's get the construction office out here and get a quick treat on uh, getting this one built in just a little bit of time it's always exciting when you get this right i think it is and for right now, we can still use the um, super speed with the control one, um, control numpad one, if you want to be specific. I don't know if you can see the big red star there, but it actually is helping my uh, loyalty, I think. And there's the other monument out by the by the uh, clothing factory, so that's super helpful. But yeah, I need this done because these guys are not kept, they're not keeping up very very clearly, and the distribution office that we have assigned to this is not helping the customs house problem because now we have four dump trucks that bring more stuff to the customs house and well that's four more trucks that do something and you saw what the problem was with the with the dump trucks that they just um they take weird amount of time like they, they're in and out really fast which is great for them but they block the next truck or the next vehicle for a very long time which is uh, quite annoying so um that's a little problem um, what we're doing this, I am thinking, I'm actually, <laughs> I thought about this a little bit before. There are really good trucks available right here, which are these guys. And I think we may even have one already purchased. There are the long haul trucks, this guy, that can transport 30 tons of steel. We have some smaller ones that can transport a little less, but we do have the really big steel trucks, which, oh, this thing is done. Nice. We can actually sign uh, our distribution office now. Um, yes, we have the dump trucks. I don't want you to unload everything anymore. Uh, you can still load the things that you need because you are uh, a support, but Incinerator gets this. And this may be a problem. I, I don't know if we're going to get what I want, but I want you to load from here. Uh, no. Yes. I want you to load from here, just the mixed waste. And I want you to bring mixed waste to this station. Ash, sadly, is treated as mixed waste. It's fine. Um, I just want to make sure this happens. And you can fill this up effectively to 90%. I just want to make sure that works. And then we can talk about the next thing. You are not what I'm worried about. Where is my, where's my dump truck? 
you go. You're already going out that way. That's actually really good news. Uh, because once the first load is delivered, cool, th th this looks good. Once the first load is delivered, and I would like to see, I'm going to speed this up just for a little bit. Um, yes, ash is, ash is removed. Ash disappears. Awesome. That makes me very, very excited. I don't know if it has to do with winter and summer and all that stuff, but it's removed. It disappears, and that is awesome. Cool. That is great, great news. Um, we have two trucks sitting here. How's this going? We don't have clothes sitting in here. We, we have a few clothes sitting here and there, and I would like to use them. Um, I do need... I just, I honestly just really need one of these guys because I need some NATO money. Now, I, I did waste some NATO money before, probably. Do we have one of the long haul trucks already available? I don't think we do. Um, well, let's triple check because it is something that I bought. This one, oh, this one is one of those. Yes, 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 that's exciting. <laughs> uh, just bear with me because these guys are currently the ones that are responsible for filling up our, well, these two. Um, and if that's not clear, where's my... There's the guy. Hey, there you go. Um, they're currently responsible for filling up these two storages, which is great, but the truck can effectively load a third of what this truck can, uh, can carry. So I can cut the truck load by one third by getting the bigger trucks out here when we do construction, which... Oh, speaking of which... Um, let's get all that set up because I want a couple more trucks, which means you, I would like you to go out here. Yes, I want you to go to the warehouse because I need you to pull directly from these guys. There are some extra clothing sitting there. I want you to load just clothing, wait until full, and bring, well, bring a few loads um, out to our NATO Customs House. We, it is winter. It's a little unfortunate, but uh, we will be fine. Just let that one drive until we can replace all of the flatbeds in that distribution um, office with... Uh, with the bigger ones because those two things should help this customs house immensely it's already helping um maybe <laughs> it's hard telling um but it's doing something and this this thing is just a problem if that thing is overflowing we can't do anything the scrap that can go straight to the customs house because that makes money and that's good and i'm actually considering doing this yeah you're just parked here i oh yes honestly that one is mm, yeah no we're, we're gonna do it a little differently Get me a dumper um, that is not this big, but has capacity and money. You're the cheapest dumper, but you can move 12 tons. Um, we have up to 12 tons here. So honestly, I don't need that big of a dumper anyways. What is this? Seven and a half tons. That's actually a close one. Seven and a half, five and a half, no, five, seven, and nine and a half going 65. This one's pretty cheap. This one's pretty cheap. I would like to use this one just to use a different one because we now have good reasons. That can just move everything that it wants to move all the time. So there's our truck. No, that's not the truck. That's a coal truck. Where is where is this guy? Get me get me my truck out here. We can actually play with it. It's, it's so dark. It's so black. That's crazy. Uh, while you're refueling, we're just going to give our construction officers something to do because right now they're not doing anything. I would like you to get started on things out here. Uh, yes, I'm assigning a lot of stuff, but honestly, this shouldn't take very long. And the road should be the least problematic out of all of them. Um, and then I think I would like this road to also be connected, because that's that's going to be necessary. Um, what do we do here? Construction, crew, get all of this done. Um, and I can't forget that I put two excavators over here, which means... There's a, there's a bus that's broken down. How are you doing? I, do you have anything assigned to you? Um, no. <laughs> silly, silly me. Uh, bad start construction. Um, I would like, yeah, it's, it's highlighting yellow. That's all I needed. Get all of these assigned. Honestly, I need this stuff assigned too. At some point, I need um, the way to the border done. There, There's a lot of stuff that I would like done. And that that thing, the, the big construction crane is actually perfect for doing exactly what I needed to do. Sorry it's night, but um, I think we can see what I'm trying to do here. Um, how are you doing? Do you have steel now? Yes, you have steel. Perfect. So now vehicles should not long idle anymore and actually get repaired. Now you, are you a real problem? Less than a year since something has passed. That is bad. Are you actually ever going to drive again? <laughs> You've been parking for a very long time. Luckily it's not blocking the path. 
Um, but you don't look good, buddy. You don't look good at all. Um, can I... I would like to see this one and actually um, overview, but I don't think I have that luxury right now. There's a lot of utility that we still need for um, the construction up at the bauxite mine, but we're going to get to that probably later. Let's check the normal things. How's this going? Uh, no cases, which is what I want to see. No cases. No cases. All that's excellent. So they can continue. I'm assuming this is fine. Yes, it is. Um, we have workers here. Good. We have 1%. We, we lost some workers. Okay. Um, I Every once in a while, every once in a while, not always, it is okay. Average age. Average lifespan. That is bad. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. I know it's night again, but um, you look fine. Health is 82%, which makes me think heat? No, heat is okay. Um, there may have been just a temporary outage of something, and they didn't like that. Um, wear and tear 6%, productivity 100%. Okay, good. I just, just someone in my Discord pointed that out, that productivity is lowered once you hit 30% to productivity of 70% uh, or something like that. So we kind of need to keep an eye on this that things get repaired when they need to get repaired so uh, we don't lose sight of that. But they should be fine. They're all working. We have this guy sitting here, which is good. Oh, someone else was pointing out something which I actually really would like to investigate, which is we need pollution detector for that. We need to figure out how much... Let's get air traffic study. How much... Um, I'm moving numbers around here a little bit, nothing too exciting. We need to figure out how much pollution is caused by the incinerator because I was told the range is about one and a half kilometers at max and we are burning the, the worst stuff, we're burning the hazardous waste. So um, if we are poisoning our citizens, we're obviously causing trouble. So let's see how far we are actually away from there. Um, less than one and a half kilometers. So I would like to see what the pollution is when this thing gets done. Luckily, there the research is really fast, so that's helpful. But I wouldn't be surprised if every once in a while we get a kick or a kickback from that. And if that is the case, we're going to move the incinerator over here because there's a lot of space. It's just not space that I used before. So that is all good. I like how this looks. There's not a lot of stuff going on. I like how this... Oh gosh, this number is so low. This is great. I do think the distribution office... Do you currently have your truck sitting there? No. Um, I do think that you are probably... Yeah, you're only picking up when it's 50% full. How about you pick up anything up to 10% full? 0% is probably not a full truckload, so that's not going to be worth it. We have 31000 in the bank. You know what that means? We can buy a uh, $31,000 we can buy another um, long hauler. Oh, look at that, that's cute. I, I do really appreciate that these change over time. It's slowed down so I can actually see what we're getting. Um, model flatbed, model flatbed. It's interesting that they have a different size, but it's not what we want. So we're just gonna go over here, speed it up again. Um, what is it, low open haul? Yes, yes, the long haul one, there we go. Give me that guy, and we have enough money for another one. And that should give us everything we need um, in terms of... I need to keep this open. That should give us everything we need in terms of filling these two um, places up. And those two places need to be used uh, for all other deliveries to any other stations. I hope that makes sense. You can't go there. How about you park here for, for the time being? Um, it should be okay. That's good. I can't move all of them because I have this. What are you? You are... Oh, you're that bus. Okay. Um, I can't afford selling you right now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but we need this one and this one. Um, assign them to here and here. And as you can see, the big truck is already out, which tells me we're actually doing the right thing. Let's see how the big truck looks when you're driving. Uh, we could change all the colors if we wanted to. But, oh, look at that. Look at that. 27 tons of goodness of Customs House uh, fix. Oh, and you're bringing stuff out to other places too? Where? Oh, that that's... that. This is almost good. As long as you always fill up a full truckload, you're allowed to do that. 
Um, if you wouldn't fill up the full truckload, I would like you to deliver to uh, the other places first, but this is okay. I would like to do the next step when it's a little brighter, and as you can see, we're losing a little bit of money over on that side. It's almost like I should uh, park the truck that is exporting our stuff right now, but not ready for that yet. I, 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 I would assume... Okay, it's day. Um, it's gonna rain. Yeah, this 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 bus is just not moving. Okay, let's replace you. This is just a normal 82 passenger bus. Got it. Uh, we need a new depot because this is we, we don't have enough. Also, this distribution office is not doing well. Um, where is my free road depot? Right there. Very good. Um, put you here, get a dirt road, and then let's buy a new bus. This one. And that's the bus that we're gonna replace um, this broken one with. And it's unfortunate, it's bad, but uh, has to happen. How are you guys doing? You are half full, that's good. Is there any chemicals sitting here? There's some, that's good. Um, but I still, I really like that this number is not outrageously large. And if we actually fill this one up, we just build a new one. Uh, they're not that expensive to build. So that one is totally worth it. Where's my bus? Where's my bus? Come on, bus. I like how the custom house looks now. Really, really appreciate that. Um, let's leave you alone for a minute. That one is doing what it's doing. It uh, looks like pollution is done. Let's get pollution filters in there and see if they will help us eventually. But for right now, let's build the monitoring station. Just somewhere not in the way and somewhere that can tell me a little bit about my um, industry. So put you here, get construction offices out to that one. You're rebuilding that building. That sounds reasonable. How's it going out here? You're pretty much done with everything I gave you, aren't you? <laughs> let's, let's see what you have assigned to yourself. Oh, this is the one that needs uh, money. <laughs> um, actually, we're really surprised to see this. We paid a lot of money back already. Obviously, we still own, uh, owe a lot, but we paid more than half back, and I didn't expect that. I'm going to take a good chunk out because, uh, well, first, we have to pay this back, so um, our interest stays nice and low. And um, I would also like to eventually buy a train. This is probably not enough to buy a train, but these guys currently do not have excavators because I moved them out. So most of the construction takes a little longer than it has to take, um, which is a little unfortunate, but that should help. You are here, big garbage containers. Good. That's a technical service office that can go here and pick stuff up from. And that, and that, yes. Because this mixed waste is not from workers, this is actually from uh, from vehicles. So that's good. Construction office, did I look at what you're currently constructing? You do have a handful of things, so we don't have to concentrate on them. Let's get... Honestly, there's a lot more vehicles parked here than I want to. So let's plan the utilities quick. Where's my bus? Where's that extra bus that we wanted? It's right there. Let's go here. You're, bro you're the broken one. Um, let's tell you to go out there and then you guys can figure it out i think that one just disappears or we had to pay for it um either way it's fine with me what are you doing you are doing some railroading that's honestly all i want to see where are you where are you right now you should be you should be running around okay you're taking a really long long way back but i guess i'll allow that a little unfortunate but that's fine Utilities. Let's do utilities first because I think our overall optimization here is fine and we're not missing out on anything. Uh, I would still like to see some more workers, but uh, needs must. Okay, let's build something. I think we're going to start on this side. What do we need? We need power, water, sewage. Why do we need water and sewage? Because this building. This has workers in it. Uh, we could use a technical service office to do that, but... Um, there's a lake here. There's a lake for sewage there. And we're already producing water over on this side. Now, someone in the comments pointed out that seeing this building get uh, the good water as a as an input is painful. And yes, I agree with you. You're right, because there's the drinking water, which is this one. And then there's the um, working water, which is that one. We could probably put a little pump over here if we wanted to, but... I'm not sure that these are going to be productive that much long that will even pay us back. So I'm just going to leave that with the nicer water connections and hopefully that's fine. Sewage tank wise, um, let's turn on the, the contour lines with F2. I would like this to be on a relatively high spot. And 
To find the highest one, we want to use our little tool, then go to our sewage tank and see that this is at 14 meters, this is about 13 and 12 meters. So this should probably be okay, because I don't think, yeah, this should be fine. Um, I don't think, I should just use a dirt path here. I don't think, okay, now I said that four times, very good. I, <laughs> um, I, I don't know that we're never going to use any more sewage out here. The problem is this is on a little plateau that's like in between the two mountains where this is very low, one meter, and this is very high. Um, but there's a chance I can do something with some um, sewage screws or like things like that. So this has a really weird um, projection there, but that's fine. So we're just going to do that. Um, give me a sewage switch. You know what? No, we're too high. We're at 14 meters up here, even over here. This would work, but the sewage switch makes a lot more sense over here where we're actually going to use it. And I right well i will put one here honestly i will put a, a sewage switch sewage switch out here and uh, that will get us what we want we still have some excavators sitting here so how about we um level this out so we can actually use it just like that um get the sewage discharge like this not happy yet are you yes you are you're just fine i could have turned that around doesn't matter uh, put a sewage switch here. It's really just an insurance policy for later. If I need to add another one here, um, I can. And I don't have to sweat about it. We only have three access points, but none of them are really... That small one is probably good, uh, more than enough here. We, we don't have a guarantee that we will never need them. So you come all the way out here. That should be fine. Get you a sign. Go. Um, we will need a road that goes all the way out here because we have to be able to actually construct those pieces out there before we actually turn on the bauxite mine. So we're gonna run something relatively parallel to the pipe um, that eventually hits the rail and that should be okay. Speaking of rail, I didn't like that it only had one thing assigned to, you, to itself, but that's okay. Did I not batch construct these guys? I think everything should be on. And you should be working very hard. Everything is paused. Cool. Uh, yeah, just just do more things. Do that one. Um, honestly, kind of do that one. You can go here. And then I would like you to go out here. But it looks like... Oh, this building has to be done. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, please get that um, fuel station done. And then I can... I, I still have to figure out if I want to add another fuel station out here. Don't know yet. Okay, so sewage is done. Cool. Um, let's get some water. Construction officer, how are you doing right now? You're doing three things. Okay, one is that. I would like you to get this road started, this started, and the sewage started while you're out here. Shouldn't be that bad. Um, and probably the storage, because why not? Now we have a lot, a lot of work going on, but that's okay. So sewage goes there. Done. Uh, water. <clears throat> let's get a water substation in here. Um, we want this one, honestly... Position is not super important, it just has to cover this, which is what we're doing now, so that's good. And uh, while we're here, let's place our electric substation. Um, somewhere in this area, you don't need um, a road connection, but I do want to make sure that we actually cover everything, especially on that side, and then just give you a dirt road, because this is an industrial complex. Thinking of which, if I want to turn this into a nice-looking industry... Uh, thingy later on I probably should make um, make all these roads gravel otherwise they will look crappy which we don't want of course um, that should be good let's get a couple more just the roads assigned so they can be happy that looks good and uh, let's do let's do the water first complete the water first at least that's important yeah I like that uh what was i doing water yes we don't need a lot of water but we need some water here i would like a water town i'll show you why i actually can show you right now there's a pump here that goes to the other factory tower which is right here there is a gravel um area that we can use later on that's also here so i am hoping by placing this here we can interact with the gravel um factory over there because Mines spit out a lot of, um, a lot of, 
not wastewater, but a lot of water, yes, that we, I'm sorry, not water, waste. <laughs> they spit out a lot of waste that we can use. Why would you go this long? That we can use for um, like con construction waste. Gosh, why was that so hard? They spit out a lot of construction waste and we can use the construction waste to uh, produce more gravel. And if we already have a gravel industry sitting right here, that is a really cool addition because it just increases how much gravel we get because I'm pretty sure uh, the quarry, the quarries potentially also uh, create more more gravel. So things that are important that we should do. My, um, oh, this thing is not done yet because I didn't assign it. Cool, let's just assign that. Check our thing over here. This looks so much better. Gosh, so much better. And these guys are just picking up stuff. Um, as long as you're always full, I'm always happy which the distribution office is trying that. It's trying to keep it full. This one is a little fuller than I want it to be, um, but that's okay for the time being. This one is empty, which is great. Uh, you're not empty, which is bad. Um, cannot export aluminum scrap. Okay, I didn't do the thing that I actually wanted to do with this guy. My bad. I would like you to go here, load whatever you want. I do not care, and then bring it down here. Always sell everything. I'm not making it wait until loaded because I can't guarantee that there's always a full load sitting here. So cool. That's a full load, a load of construction waste. Great. That's that's wonderful. Keep doing that. Um, let's go drop it off here. Just want to make sure that it actually works the way that I want it to work. Uh, because of, if it just goes in now and always gets construction waste, we're not winning anything. I have to do something else. Cool. I grab the next thing. Love it. Um, it doesn't mean that it's going to work because there's also a world which I have to assign this guy to make uh, six trips. Metal scrap. Yes, got metal scrap twice in a row. And there's a world where I may have to assign this guy to make six trips, one um, down and back for each of these materials. So we're not we're not out of the woods yet. I have to see what happens when he when there's just a little bit of construction waste because once this runs again, like now, um, if it always picks up construction waste, it's not working. So aluminum scrap, make me some money. Very good. Um, are you back yet? There you are. Aluminum scrap. Okay, that was what the what we had the most of. That's good. If you always pick the highest, that's also totally fine. Um, I just need to make sure it works. Let's see. Are you running in there again? Cool. You're picking up uh, construction waste. Okay, that's the top one. And if that works, great. Uh, it feels like I probably have to assign a second truck for this. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Um, but that's also okay. You didn't take metal scrap. It's a little worrisome, but that's okay. What is more worrisome is that this guy is currently not picking up anything. So I would actually like to assign the other one um, to do the same thing. So let's send you to one of my um, staging grounds and assign you to this guy. Don't go home anymore. And now let's just make sure that they actually do the thing that I need them to do. We don't need the fuller truck, and I think it may be smarter to use one of the smaller trucks to make this uh, make this transport happening, but if this is what it takes, then that's fine, because we do have the construction waste one where we just have a lot, and I cannot tell it to only load one or the other. Ooh! Me has idea. Um, there are a lot of comments that always come through that want to optimize things, and I, I'm not, I'm not obsessed with optimizing. I'm I'm happy if something works really great, uh, but I'm more happy about if the Republic works great, not just a setup. But I think we have a good chance here to do something more funky. This one, just get um, construction waste. Wait until loaded, always. Um, that's what I want you to do. This one is going to get two trips now. The first one is always going to be a metal scrap and they bring it to the customs house. The second trip, you come back here, you're going to, in the wrong place, buddy. Um, undo you, customs house, then click on this, cool. I want you to load on the second trip the aluminum scrap because that's all we have, and then you go back here. Now, and this one, you're not waiting until you're full, you're just getting whatever is there. With that, I'm hoping that we have enough um, transport happening and this thing is not overloaded plus we do have a distribution office assigned we don't need that anymore um, because the two trucks can take care of the three different uh, load types so construction waste is always empty I'm waiting for the truck to come in to get the metal scrap 
um, which it can hold almost 12 tons. Now I'm regretting that it didn't do the 12 tonner. Um, I may actually switch you out. That's, that is, that is a very high possibility. Where are you, truck? There, there's my truck. You do aluminum scrap, okay. I'm going to get a 12 tonner. Um, do we have a 12 tonner? If we don't have a 12 tonner, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I want. Oh, it's also, hold on. Hold on, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Metal scrap. How much metal scrap can each of you carry? You can carry 15 tons of metal scrap and uh, 17 tons of aluminum scrap. Honestly, this is the guy that I want. <laughs> I don't want the little one because these will never get one thing uh, taken care of. There was a fire over there. Okay, there is, no, that's not, that's not the right one. Where is my, there's that truck, there's that truck. Where's my big truck? Can you come out, please? There you are. Um, you will get this assigned, but first you're going to have to refuel, blah, 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 do your thing. That's fine. We're making money on this. We're making 100% money on this, which is good. So you get assigned, you go. Um, and all I want this guy now to do is after you drop that off, I want you to go home. You're parked in, the, in line there. We're doing a lot of construction right here. So I'm expecting our customs house to be um, relatively overloaded, but you're empty now, which is great. Go to a um, one of these places and then leave me alone. Good. This is better than I expected. I would like you, oh, you should be emptying out now because this guy can actually, uh, well, this guy can burn everything that we have. Uh, which is excellent. We're running at 50% capacity. I'm hoping this is a positive impact on how much pollution we produce here, but it's hard to tell for sure. Is this one full for whatever reason? No, it's not. That's good. Okay, um, pollution station. You're done. Very nice. Show me what you got. View actual pollution. <sighs> okay, that one does not have a huge impact. I'm still, we're still losing some people, but it's not super clear to me where because we should be able to keep our garbage trucks under control speaking of which this guy is not keeping everything under control so what we're going to do is actually build a technical service office be well this snow plow is a problem here <laughs> but it's not really a problem we need it uh, but i do need a technical service office in this area and either i can fit one somewhere in a reasonable cramped space honestly out here is just fine uh, put you here, and then you can do um, all the, the connections that you want to do. For some reason... There you go. I want you there. Yep. Um, assign that to our construction crew, and get this going, because once we have that, I will be able to get a second orange truck, which I'm assuming you are relatively far away from us right now. You're not that far away. Maybe one truck is just fine. Maybe I don't need that construction office. How are our... Tanks, you're not full. Very good. Um, is there another one? There's another one. You're not full. Very good. You're not full. Very good. You're just a container thing. Nope, never mind. We don't need this. Um, I really thought we did, but one truck for the current size that we're running is sufficient, which is excellent. How's our money? Money is not as good as it was. Why? Are we out of crops? Nope, we have crops. We have clothes. We are, oh, we're exporting a lot to the NATO side. Okay, that explains that piece. Where is my truck that is doing that uh, behavior? I would like you to stop doing what you're doing. Do you have something loaded right now? No, you're coming back. Okay, you can go back to your original customs house. Uh, distribution office, not customs house. Cool. So that should be fine, and that should be helpful. We don't have wood. Okay. Um, we're not storing wood. <sighs> All right, all right, all right. So there's always going to be a truck that comes out here to pick up wood to drop off here. We do need 20 tons of it. Um, wood is a very easy industry that we could set up. And I'm very tempted, very tempted to do something a little drastic. <laughs> um, okay, here's what we're going to do. Where is you? Miscellaneous wood, wood cutting post. Yes. We can take you, flip you around. No, we're not going to connect you like that, but very close to that. I will just put this here. There are a couple trees in the area. Um, we should. I will plant some in just a second, and we can do the research in the university too. Put you there. Give me a 
cargo station. I can actually connect this. Open storage small should be sufficient uh, for what we're going to do next. Honestly, this may be fine. It doesn't have to be pretty. We just need a few trees out of this. And I don't know that I will ever do the full tree industry, okay? So do that. Then this one, as far as I'm concerned, can just be a dirt road. This one doesn't have to be pretty because it's all just going to be forest. This will have to be a real road. So let's get that one in here, really. F4 to turn the snapping off. There you go. And I can go here. Uh, this is more really just for a footpath connection, um, which we could just grab from here as well. Oh, well. I uh, got that one there and then plop down trees. This one is just going to be pine. There's nothing, nothing fancy in this area. Plop this down here because we need the trees and that will definitely remove whatever wood traffic we have going on and we can get some extra woods in here. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Is that completely necessary? No, 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 it's not. <laughs> but I want to do it anyways because it seems fun and exciting. And this one is currently not producing anything because nobody's bringing you wood. Um, where is wood? Who's assigned to you? The Explosives Distribution Office. You are assigned to us. You're supposed to pick up wood from there and nothing else. You're supposed to unload explosives. That's nice. Where is this dumper right now? You bring the minimum amount of steel nowhere. Perfect. That is the problem. <laughs> Great. Uh, okay. That brings me to another point. How much do we have stored here? 12 tons. Honestly, this may be just fine the way it's going. Um, so we'll leave that alone. I was, I was, I was considering um, sending some other stuff here, but I don't think we need it. So um, that's good for now. All right, distribution office. Let's see how you're doing with... I would like to see what distribution offices are assigned to you. This is not helping. This is not helping. What distribution offices are assigned to the customs house? <laughs> uh, okay, this is a this is a grain truck. All right, uh, we actually this is pretty simple to assign these to something else because all you do is grain. Yeah, you only load grain and you unload grain and you go to the customs house. Okay, I would like you to go here, and I would like you to no then you you also go here yeah i would like you to drop off your crops but uh, there you go i would like you two to go there and this line not sell all vehicles i want to delete the line clear line data no it's not helpful um do i have to go to the line menu to delete the line i think i do once once both trucks are gone does it count where are you where is this one you're still driving where are you Good. The line just disappears when you do that. Great. Love it. So now we have a lot more uh, covered holes in here, which is actually a good thing. We can load crops from the customs house like this. And now all we have to do is assign to this building and say drop off crops there. Unload. Crops. Done. Until it's 70% full. Should be fine because we're pretty full on crops here. So 70% means we're always gonna have about 700 tons of crops there. That is way too much. Don't, don't, don't do that. Um, instead say 200 tons. 200 tons of crops is more than sufficient for what we're doing here. So that should be fine. Cool. I cleared out the custom cells a little bit. Let's check on our construction offices. How's this going? You have less, okay. Um, let's see if something else has to be assigned. F3 for underground. Let's get those assigned. Sure. Oh, that reminds me. I don't have the power line set up yet. <laughs> uh, we have a splitter here. I don't think I want to run a super long uh, splitting line to to this area. So we're just going to do another one. Um, should I do this? Yeah, I guess. Uh, we can do that here. We can do the power transformer right here. I guess we're going to move this back just a little bit. Uh, like so, like so. Get me a quick road connection to this. You could do gravel, you know. Uh, yeah, I know I could, but this is a rural station. We don't need gravel. Get that one there. This one ideally just connects relatively easy to this guy, but I would like, there you go. The spacing is more appropriate. I like it. Then you can connect to this. We're not going to need all of this power, but i rather go over than under. We're definitely going to need... Uh, a big power line going uh, this uh, this way for the medium wattage. 
uh, because we have a lot of industries attached to this. So let's run that one all the way up here and there. Let's take it back just a notch. Just take this one out and that one and then run this one to the middle and there. That looks better. Cool. Um, construction office, can you... Pick the wrong one again. Can you do those? I'm assuming you're still just working on this. And uh, those have to be connected to the area as well. So how about we run you over here, you over here, and there. Get this constructed. And because this is a really long distance to do anything, I would rather just get all of this done. So we're done with that. That other pipe just got done for us. Cool. Okay, so that should be fine. I think the construction crew has a lot to do right now, which is what we want to see. Unable to load vehicle for, uh, un unload the vehicle from the flatbed. What? Why do you have an excavator sitting here? Unload. Can't. Uh, what are we... That one's the one that has a problem. I, I appreciate that you show me that. How about you can just become, get a new home that is all the way up here. You can start doing something useful. Cool. Um, and now you should be able to unload. Thank you. Easy enough. Hey, we have some money in the bank and we have some room over here to make some more cash. That's all really good news. That one is done. You're almost done with this rail. Okay. Part of me, oh, okay, I have to change a couple small things here. It's not nothing major, uh, but I thought about this while I was away and then I forgot about it at the beginning of the episode. I think that two lines are generally going to be sufficient. F4 for snapping. Uh, two, what the? Let's try this. Two lines are generally going to be sufficient for what we're doing here. However, there is the odd chance in which I will heavily, <clears throat> very heavily run um, just exports from here to the custom cells in the direction that we're looking. If that would happen, this has a potential of getting overloaded a little too much. Not a lot, but a little too much. And I would like to avoid that. So I wanna give myself a down the road option of running four terminals here i can just shut it off on this side that's that's super simple i will just put a signal there and then nobody can get in there um and that will make life easy but i also want to run one or two lines in or out i definitely want to run these two on the in the middle um there's no question about that they're definitely going to run always but uh, the other lines i want to give myself options and i'll show you what i mean by that see here turning off the f4 option does make this a lot easier so that's not helping because now I can't give my uh, return track in there. So try that again, make it a little longer and give myself more room. Yeah, that's fine. If we would start out from here, okay? You can butt onto that one and then I guess this one also has to back up a little bit. And this one could join up here. I think this is okay. This, I would also want to, well, I kind of want this to look like it can go either way, but the way I'm doing this just now does not feel that way. So if I do this, that's fine. If I give you two extra tracks in here, then that would technically totally work, but this kind of looks really ugly. Why is that angle so bad? I really, I, I'm, I'm really not sure. Why is that angle so bad? More room. You need more room. These, the, the, these are not doing it for me. Sorry. Um, I know we already built most of this, but these are just not doing it for me. I, I just know that the outside track has to be special. This one has to have enough room to do what it needs to do. Um, I guess the easiest to make, to make this easy on me, if I do this, and everyone joins onto the same track here. It makes my life the easiest, but it makes the double life of allowing, hmm, of letting the trains do whatever they want a little harder because now I still have to build a, a crossover over here and that one is interfering with the other line. So I guess what I'm really saying is if I put the 
the main line a little further to the right, maybe I can make my life a little easier um, in general, because all we have to do is split them out and have them go to the right, and then they're fine. Okay, 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 okay. I, I will figure this out. It's, this, is, this is not rocket science, and we do have time. I did fix a couple things that I wanted to fix, and we do have more time. I don't understand why we still don't have more people. Because all our numbers are indicating that we're doing better. Not perfect, but better. Average life lifespan is good. Saturation is good. Sport, pollution, that's all good. Culture and sport, only at, in the 90%. That's a little lower than I actually want. Let's check this out quick. No problems here. Good. Uh, no direct problems here. Also good. No problems here. Uh, school is also fine. We could introduce some um, uh, NATO members. That would work. Uh, these guys are doing what they're supposed to do. Let's do pollution prototype filters, because we do have 4% pollution, 3%. Maybe having something a little more uh, designated, dedicated will help us. Maybe, or telling. Okay, let's try this again. Just better. I don't know why I make this so hard. Okay, so if this one comes in, and like this then these two are definitely going to be linked to whatever the main line is doing which is not a bad thing um the main line can run wherever it wants to run out here we just have to connect to it eventually cool that's fine it's almost a straight line didn't didn't do terrible there um i need a little bit of straight line so i can connect to whatever comes here on the reverse uh, reverse track so that's good now we want to do something very similar here, otherwise we cannot have the illusion of these being able to be two ways. We already have a junction here, so this shouldn't hurt. That's good. Now you are crossing that line a little bit there, buddy. So we can avoid that by F4, snap onto this, and then you can kind of feed into that. That's not bad. And now these just need two independent um are they called comeback tracks i don't know but crossovers to get back here now all of this is a dead junction there's nothing going to be in here but i can turn these two tracks on these two tracks will always be on uh, but i can turn these two tracks on from both directions and uh we can accommodate up to four trains loading at the same time which should be totally 100 percent sufficient so that makes me feel good uh, enough fuel station here have i decided yet I think, oh gosh, they're going through here anyways, and as long as the fuel station is on the way, they should be able to um, refuel when the time is right, not when they absolutely need it. So they should be able to time it a little better than just barely making it. At least that's that's what I think I remember from last time. <laughs> so let's hope that will work. Looks like you're doing a lot of stuff, which is fine. Are you able to bring workers out here? It is summer, so this should be fine. You're in vehicle for three hours, which is good. Let's drive you a little faster. Yes. As long as you can get people out there, that's all I really wanted to see. So they're doing that. You, you have no power, no water, no workers, no export, no raw bauxite. That's fine. That's pretty much what I would expect <laughs> to see from those guys. So uh, no hard feelings. Let's speed this up a little bit. Um, how are you doing now? You're doing fine. This is relatively empty. Scrap is taken out. Great. Great. That's exactly what I want to see. Uh, you can do this a little different. Obviously a little more effective by um, making enough room for three trucks or using a mod. But I, li I like this setup because now this truck is effectively extending the internal storage of the uh, construction waste by 25 tons. The other two are just uh, running totals and they should never be full. This... Okay, this looks like a problem again. You're full. You shouldn't be full unless this guy's already full, which you're not full. Um, I, where are my... I think the guys that are responsible for picking up uh, the stuff that I actually need are dropping off... Um, let's see here. Claw machine. Large. Yes. Unload. Cargo station 2. Okay. They're picking up... Actually, don't need this anymore. <laughs> That's important. Um, the, no way to unload and construction waste. Road cargo station. Where is this? What is this? You bring construction waste there? That's silly. I must have set that up wrong. Um, oopsies. 
uh, incinerator and large custom cells. You're trying to load just the hazardous waste from here. Okay, that is fine. It's not the end of the world, but it uh, could be better. So I think the problem is that all of my, all my trucks are currently trying to load the hazardous waste, which gives us a little money, which is nice, and drop it off here for the hazardous waste. Um, if your storage percent is below 30%. How about we up that a little bit? And uh, just for the time being, yeah, we're close to 30%. Just for the time being, I will borrow one of those trucks. Um, where is one? Oh, like, I think this is one. There's a small one, which is good. I will borrow you to actually empty out the stuff that we definitely don't want anymore. So I take you, bring you here. You can load whatever's in here, just, just until it's actually empty. And bring stuff over here. Wait until loaded. Uh, you can load any. Oh, well, actually, I, I can specialize what you what I want you to load. I want you to start with metal scrap, please. Go. Um, you got that custom uh, at that thing. Okay, go get metal scrap out of there. Very important. I'm waiting. Are you there yet? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> You are, n oh, <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm glad you're just parked to get a repair done because that could have been really, really bad, really, really fast. Um, okay, so you're doing, you're going to the wrong place. There, There's nothing, hold on, unload. Yes, no, it's set up right. It's, everything's correct. I just need you to go to the incinerator first and then get out of here. So turn around at the street. There you go. Get the metal scrap. Thank you. 1200 bucks. Sure. Hey, that's money. It's not nothing. Um, do that twice, and then I want you to do construction waste next. I think I can only do one at a time, right? Yes, I can only do one at a time. So do that one first. I guess I will follow you for a little bit. What are these guys? You have metal scrap. Where are you... Where are you getting that from? Hmm. Um, so that one looks good, and then the metal scrap is gone, so just all we have left is just some construction waste. Okay, we can survive that. I think this will be fine. Yes, hold on. You're, you're getting, you're getting, um, more hazardous waste. Isn't this the one that I just told not to do that anymore? You're getting it. Incinerator and storage percentage, 50%. I wonder if the storage percentages are confused with the... Uh, containers um, or if I'm confused with what this number is actually supposed to be vehicle unload cargo to building when building storage are filled at to a lower percentage than this this is 100% not at 50% I, I think we can all agree on that so um, they're doing something a little unfortunate and if they are they continue doing that I'm gonna look at that just for a couple more minutes um, are you filling up with this? No. I would like you to get construction waste until that's actually done. Do like five or six trips. And um, then we should be good. What are you doing? You are a mixed waste guy. Okay, distribution office two. Where is this? You are all the way out here. Gosh, I need to remove some of these um, windows. I can't see stuff. Okay, where are you picking trash up from? You're loading for no that's that's fabric that's fine um separation oh oh you do go to the general separation plant yeah i don't want you to do that you there's nothing here for you to do okay go away and then that means i don't need you to unload at the custom cells anymore cool we removed another guy uh that we didn't actually need that's that's excellent because this one is supposed to just worry about um where are you? Oh, you're doing the same trip again. Uh, it's just supposed to worry about delivery to the city, which is obviously super important, but um, not always. So get you out of here. You do that thing. Yeah, you're just going to park here, and then you shouldn't move anymore ever. So I'm just going to move you to a different, different station. We have two trucks sitting there, too. That's a lot. Um, I don't want you there because I think you're just going to import hazardous waste. So we're just going to park you here uh, for the time being. Good. That's that's super helpful. I like it. It's been an hour. We're not we're not near a train. We're not we're not even close to a train. Hazardous waste is good. 
construction waste is bad. I'm assuming, well, I'm probably just going to assign this guy to the construction waste. Get two more trucks of that. Um, speaking of trucks, construction offices, how are you doing? You're just repairing the explosives factory. Which makes me think um, this probably can get done in just a second. We probably only need two or three people actually working there, which is uh, part of the excitement here. F3, yes, all of that is done. The power line is not done, but all of these things need to get done. Okay. Yes, we, we, we need all of this, so construction office, don't be lazy. Uh, we don't need the road, but we do need those. We do need that. We do need the water tower over here. Um, there's one thing I want to change over here, and either I'm going to regret it right away, or it's going to be just fine. Let's get cancel road, because this is a piece of um, bridge, which we don't need. Gravel road is just fine. As long as you can build this, I will be happy to assign that one. Good. Yes, they can get started on that. Um, I'm not going to skip it. This is the episode after I asked on the uh, on a survey if you like this type of uh, don't skip anything uh, behavior. And all of you, well, 93% said yes, which to be fair, makes me excited. Well, that didn't work. Um, empty everything and then give 100% to this guy. Cool. All right, so we have wood here, which we will also be able to use for this area, which is also a good thing because they do eat quite a bit of wood. So uh, that will be helpful. And we could even potentially, well, th that road is not gonna be very helpful. This road will be much more helpful to actually get get something done in there. Can we, can we get a little shortcut? Yes, we can. Really? <laughs> that's not a very pretty shortcut, but that's fine. If we just get a couple pieces of roads um, upgraded here, let's make this a dirt road so we can connect you. And this can be that. Uh, road upgrade, tell my construction crews that, uh, that's, a, that's the wrong construction crew. They're, they're on vacation today. Tell them to do all these things. That's good. Um, uneducated workers. I would actually like to have less educated workers. That will be helpful. Uh, fire station police helicopters? Yes, uh, why not? Let's get pollution filter installation. That should help our health a little bit. Government loyalty is good. Everything else is good. Just more. I'm, I'm really tempted to build a medical university because you can do, um, where is it? Child bearing vitamins? No, yes. Increase birth rate. You could do this and then for half a year, you increase your birth rate by a lot. Um, it's very tempting, but they just only have the big ones still, which, well, yes, they're expensive, but that's not really my problem right now. They're just not quite what I wanted to do. So that's a little unfortunate. You're still doing things there. That's actually good. Assign a construction. Um, yeah, you can come out there and you can start doing this one as well. Let's see. Let's get, we really just need one, one of these. Uh, to get constructed so if i assign that one that one that one both of this and this and that little piece and that piece right there and uh, then we should be in business we still have to build this guy okay uh, obviously but how we're gonna get there we also need a technical service out here 100 percent gosh there's so many little things i really thought i was gonna get done with the with this, with this whole layout today, but obviously that's not the case. So getting this one in here will take care of all the trash that we will produce here, and there will be a lot. It's this one. Um, where are you going? Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried that you're going to a weird place. And I'm pretty sure that this is in walking range of everything. Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure that I can put a footpath here that makes this also in walking range. Pretty sure. Not 100%, and this should just be distance, so the walking speed shouldn't make a difference. Um, no, that, that's fine. I, I don't think that's going to work, so... Uh, the the mixed waste storage here is just one, uh, one container full, which is probably not enough for me because I am foreseeing very long driving distances. So uh, we're just going to add another one here. They can, they can assign to that. That's good, that's good, that's good. Everything is kind of there. We're just really far away, so it takes a little while longer for them to do what I need them to do. 
but it seems to be working. Nothing to repair. I like to hear that. This looks good. We have a bunch of extra stuff sitting there. 23 people in prison. Nobody on on the bench. That's that's honestly all of that is really, really good. 76 tons of gravel. That's not great, but it could be a lot worse. What are you guys doing? Uh, we have a lot of crops. Excellent. We have large customs house doing. Oh, that, that's a lot of mechanical component. I like it. Um, 4,000 tons of crops here. We have some trucks sitting there. We do have a lot of, um, let's see here. We do have a lot of NATO money, so I think I'm going to buy a couple more big trucks. Let's see what we can see here. Ooh, long haul. Yes, cheap one. Give me. Um, refrigerator, flatbed, refrigerator. Of course, when I need one of the one of the other ones, I can't get them. That's fine. Uh, covered haul. Yes. Give me, I don't know. Two, three, give me three more and send them to the big farm uh, so we can get all our problems solved. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Uh, you go, you go, you go. I don't know what I wanna do with the other flatbed yet, but um, we can do something if we want to. So that should be good. They're all working. We have a truck actually driving around here. That's excellent. Nothing is overflowing there. That's super. We have a lot of covered holds parked here. Honestly, I should probably assign you to this to pick up crops from there. Um, yeah, up to 10%. If it's at least 10%, get crops from there. Um, and that should help the, the whole situation. But for right now, this small farm is producing enough crops for what we're doing in this area. Wow, we have people working there. I kinda actually like to see that. 103,000 last month, that's good. Yeah, I'm not going to do signaling until we actually need it. Um, mixed waste is parked there. Okay, okay, okay. What, what is the consistency here? Ash and other waste. So it's still the same waste, um, but it's not... Okay, okay. This is... No, you're not full. How? What? Why is this thing not empty yet? Do I have just one truck driving around here? Is there a distribution office? I have a distribution office assigned to you. Okay, there are two trucks that are supposed to do something, but those two, hold on. Oh yeah, okay, it's, it's the right one. You are just assigned to the customs house and the customs house is continually giving us a hazardous waste, which is cute, but super unhelpful because you're not actually picking up what I want you to pick up. So I removed that and I sent this truck home and now you should be unloading this station instead of being annoying in all the other places. Okay, good. Yeah, um, okay, we're out of gravel, that's fine. Uh, so you are doing what you're supposed to do, great, you're emptying this guy, uh, which means you can actually run again, and this next waste is not overflowing, all of that is great. Uh, you're, you weren't full in the first place, so that's good, but there's some construction waste sitting here. Where is, oh, you. Um, I have to switch you over to this one, where you also pick up construction waste, and then this one is not accurate anymore. Go to the out. Yes, that's good. Then I guess you could pick up hazardous waste as well. Um, I don't know that that's necessary, but that would be fine. Um, this is doing what it's supposed to do. We're missing a little bit of money, but it should be fine. We're missing a lot of gravel. That's bad, but... <laughs> Oh well, um, how's this? You're not done. Why are you taking so long? What are you delivering? What are you picking up? Prefabs, of course. Everyone needs prefabs. Um, I like to see my construction office is actually empty because that means they're doing what they're supposed to do. You're being reconstructed right now. That's that's fun, that's interesting. There's a lot of stuff on your line. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a little while, that's fine. I'm just gonna let this run for a little bit. But I do, it does look like we need to, it, it is going down, but not fast enough. It does look like we need to um, add at least one more. So let's do that right now. Road can kind of point this way. That looks good. Make that one a sign. Get a construction office out here. Yes, I know it's going to be a little far, uh, far away, uh, but let's get that started because apparently we have a lot of trash. And I really don't think I want to export it with truck anymore, especially just the ash. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Is the percentage changed yet? No, it's still 20, 20 and 50%. Oh, well. Um, yeah. 
just from looking at this, we we have made a difference here, which is great. Looks like you are set up. I don't. I want like three, two people here. I, I don't need anyone. Do we have a logger truck sitting here? That's a big question. Uh, show all dry bulk, snowplow, dry. Nope. Open all harvesting. No, no, nothing, nothing good, nothing interesting. So I'm gonna go here. Show all logger truck L L fell tree capacity. That was definitely not there. So we have 16 tons. Or, I guess I can just do total capacity. 16 tons is the big one. Give me two of you, and then we should we should no longer have any... Oh, there's a, there's a big dumper sitting there. Interesting. We should no longer have any wood issues uh, anywhere down the road, which is wonderful. Yay, let's get the wood in there. Ah, wrong button. We're trying to wrap up this episode because it's been hour 12. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> research finished oh we are over 3800 people we were out of money for a second that's not good um we, we were at 80 percent there for just a second and then we're out again um okay i do have to purchase a uh, a train here probably super soon so we're just going to take it a little more i'm going to pay a little extra money for just the time being more because i'm lazy than anything um but that's okay i just Running out of money is embarrassing and terrible and not good for anyone involved, so this should be fine. Are you picking up any trees yet? Two people are even too much to make it one person. Nice. You're moving the logs. Wood over here, which goes straight into there. Excellent. Actually, I don't even know if you pull it into there, but uh, it looks fine. With all that said, I can tell these guys to no longer pick up wood, which means you don't need this anymore, which means I can turn off... Uh, dropping off logs. Where are you? Explosives factory. Um, not storage, not repair station, explosives factory. I don't need um, this anymore. No, I do. You, you still have to pit, drop off chemicals, right? Let's drop enough chemicals for you. There's a dumper. There's a covered hull. Okay. Yeah, we don't, we, we're not getting chemicals from here, so who's bringing you chemicals? There's no other distribution office assigned to you. Oh, but you are picking up chemicals from a different warehouse? Yes, from right there. Perfect. That's what I want. So this guy is no longer going to the customs house for anything but selling uh, the explosives. Perfect. I love it. Um, it's doing exactly what it needs to do. And this one is slowly filling up so we can do something uh, smart with the wood. Like, <coughs> wrong button again. Ah, oh, final optimization, sorry. I'm almost done. So this guy currently is picking up wood and oil from there. You no longer have to do that. Now you can get your wood straight from the source, which is right there. Should have probably done this a very long time ago, but obviously I didn't. Um, until it's empty, doesn't matter when. But now you should be able to get a very quick access to that location, which um, hopefully solves all the problems. How are we doing here? We have actually some clothes being um, being hoarded there. That's, that's a good thing. Full truck? Full truck. Good. Nice. Snow. Perfect. We're going to uh, come back to a lot of snow. Why not? You're building the things that I want you to build. I'm excited. That is done. That is done. This is not done. There are a couple things still missing. Um, but once they are done, we are so ready to turn on the box site. And once we turn on the box site, you know what we do then? Uh, we buy a train. Oh. One very important thing is missing, and nobody called me out on that because you, well, no, you could have seen it at the end of the last episode that I didn't have one of these yet. Um, a fire station. All I want from the fire station really is to be in walking range of the bus station and um, pull you down here. Only reason being, if I do build the uh, gravel, gravel industry over here like I'm thinking I will, I do need uh, coverage for that too, so I'd rather have you a little further down, uh, down this way. That should be good. That's a sign. They can do their thing. It is snowing. Oh well. I need a lot more snow plows in the in the Republic period. Uh, we don't have that luxury right now, so let's just get that out of our minds. Um, anything else that I want to research? I don't know. TV? No. Gas power? No. Fertilizing? Where is tree? There you go. Forest study. That's the one that we wanted. <laughs> I'm glad I looked at that because I forgot about it already. Uh, that looks good. Lower education is going down a little bit, which is what I want. Arrival to prison, sure, don't don't steal. No alcohol, no loyal, 
got a little gun and loyalty, crime. Yeah, no, no, no big hitters in there, which is what I want to see. This number is nice and low. You're nice and low. I think this one can be constructed now. So let's get that one assigned because the other one is almost full. You're not full yet, but you're getting there. How's this going? You're not, you're not as empty as I would like you to be. I think that has to do with this guy thinking that you can stop dropping off at the um, claw machine at 90%, so <laughs> you can't. It has to be fully full, and then you can you can stop dropping things off. Um, hold on. How much are you actually loading? Six and a half tons. We'd like to see how full you actually make it. And that's going to be our outro. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yes, long episode. I know some of you really like that, so I'm glad I could make someone happy. Um, but here we are. I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, we will have a train next time. Yes, we will get a train next time 100%. It's the last thing we do. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.